GeoBattle is a mixed reality, team-based, competitive real-time strategy game for the Apple iPhone. The mixed reality feature means that places or buildings in real life represent planets within the game. The goal of this game is for each team to expand its territories and conquer other players. The interdependence of each player on a team makes GeoBattle a unique and inherently social strategy game. This is the Geo Battle map view. As the first view users see each session, it primarily serves to orient them to their game surroundings. The map system is created using data from Google Maps and shows planets to the user as distinctly colored buildings. Once the user becomes familiar with the game, they will naturally perceive this connection. Each planet represents an asset which may be controlled by a faction and improved to raise its perceived in-game value. Improvement is achieved by constructing facilities upon the planet to increase its resource production and defensibility. There are four different types of buildings with five varying levels. Mineral, fuel, and organic facilities each produce their respective resource at an hourly rate based on level. These resources are used for construction of buildings, ships, and troops. Supply facilities determine the maximum population of a colony, which is invested in the creation of buildings and defense on the planet. When a user visits a planet where they have facilities, they collect resources from the planet onto their iPhone, which represents their mothership. The resources are then available for immediate use. When a user has accumulated enough resources onto their mothership, they can expand their personal holdings onto new planets. The easiest way to accomplish this is to find a planet already owned by the player's faction. The next step is to transfer colonists from their fleet down to the planet. Once there's population available on the planet, the player may construct new buildings as normal. By adding their own improvements to the planet, the player now has a vested interest in the cooperative defense of the planet with other faction members. Because planet space is a limited resource, eventually players will not be able to expand within their current faction holdings and must attack their rivals in order to obtain new planets. If the player's attack is successful, the enemy planet will be conquered by his faction. Enemy buildings on the planet are recycled into new space defenses to defend the new planet, and soon other players from the faction will arrive to invest in new fa buildings and defenses on the planet as well. Combat in GeoBattle consists of two parts, space battles and land battles. Space battles occur when players from an enemy team engage the defensive ships that orbit a given planet. Ground battles occur after the defensive fleet on a planet has been wiped out. Ground battles are directed at individual colonies owned by players inhabiting the planet. In space and ground combat, different types of units are available for the player to choose. Each type of unit has an advantage over another type of unit, and a disadvantage or weakness over another type of unit. <coughs> Attack orders must be made strategically to ensure maximum damage to the other player's troops. The first step a faction must take when invading another planet is to engage the planet's defensive ships. These ships protect the planet from invaders. During space combat, players can place their ships into groups and give them orders to move or attack enemy groups of ships. When issuing an attack order, ships will move into range and fire upon the enemy ships. The defensive ships that orbit the planet are driven by an artificial intelligence player. If players from a faction realize that their planet is under attack, they are allowed to go to the planet and help defend it by using their own offensive ships. Additional players from the offensive faction may also come and help their teammate to invade the planet. In playing GeoBattle, our users will experiment with the three aspects of our game, exploration, competition, and cooperation. Suppose these two players had not previously met. By playing this game, they will have common ground to start communicating and working together. This cooperation can be especially useful to attack as a group against otherwise well-defended planets. This player will now get together with his group to plan a counterattack against the Lab Rats faction. Rather than compete over contested territory, a player may choose to take a different route to class, get a little bit more exercise, and build up their own planet away from the opposing faction. 
Should a player become inactive for any reason, the buildings owned by that player will revert to faction ownership, allowing anyone else in the same faction to claim and use the built-up planet.